Hey, I'm Gringo, and I want to help you find your freedom through travel so that you too can live your ultimate adventure, just as I've been doing the past eight years. And today I am, of course, in one of my favorite cities in the whole world. That's Rio de Janeiro, Rio. And the first stop on today's Rio beach tour is Praia do Flamengo or Flamengo Beach. Now the first thing I need to tell you about this beach is that unfortunately it is not safe for swimming. The water is polluted. That said, there are tons of families that don't really seem to care. Today it's Saturday and a lot of them are hanging out in the ocean. But that definitely doesn't mean you won't be enjoying Flamengo Beach. They have tons of activities happening here. You have beach volleyball, beach soccer, fuchivole, which is a mixture of both. You have a lot of beach vendors as well with beach chairs and food and drinks. So it really is a great place to hang out. Of course, there's less vendors here than there would be on the more touristy beaches, but that's why a lot of people like to come here. Other advantages include this beautiful view of Bongjasuka, the Sugarloaf Mountain. And you also have this huge boardwalk where people skateboard, ride their bikes. There's a lot of exercise facilities, as you can see there, and all along the boardwalk, you can walk to our next beach destination. Another cool feature of Flamingo Beach is that the airport is somewhere over here. I think there's a plane taking off right now. So there's really a lot of cool photo ops with the planes passing by Sugarloaf Mountain. So just another advantage of Flamingo Beach. On to the next one. It's a bit of an overcast day here in Rio, but it's still like 28 degrees, so I'm definitely wearing some sunscreen. And the walk to Botafogo Beach is about a half hour from here, but you can walk along the boardwalk and the views are pretty incredible. Let's do this. Also, if you're walking from Flamengo to Botafogo Beach, you can just stop where I am here right now next to this monument buy a coconut water and just enjoy the beautiful view. Not a bad day so far. We're coming up now on Botafogo Beach and as you can maybe see there is absolutely no one on the beach and today is Saturday. So one of those reasons might be because the water here is also polluted. You should not swim in the ocean in Botafogo Beach. Another reason could be that there's a huge avenue behind it. So maybe there's a lot of like traffic noise and it's not very relaxing. That said, I am staying in the Botafogo area and it's a really nice region. There's some hikes that you can do around there. And come on, it's always good to have a beach that close by. You can go watch the sunset at the beach or just go read a book and relax. And now we're gonna start getting to the really busy beaches here on the south side of Rio. And I wanna mention that in this video, I am only covering the beaches here on the south side of Rio because they are the more popular ones, but there are certain areas in those beaches that are better to stay at. So I wanna give you those tips of where you should stay on each of those beaches because it really does make a difference. So stay tuned for that. About a 40 minute walk later and I have walked from Botafogo Beach over here to Praia Vermelha, which means Red Beach. This is actually a smaller beach that is known for being right next to Sugarloaf Mountain. So you can actually take the cable car here from the beach all the way up to Sugarloaf Mountain or you can actually do a hike which I did just the other day probably just like a 45 minute hike maybe an hour and you reach the halfway point where you can also take a cable car all the way up to Sugarloaf Mountain let me show you what the beach looks like so Praia Vermelha Red Beach is definitely a smaller beach it doesn't have that much area with sand but the view is quite rewarding and you have Sugarloaf Mountain right there. So the water here at Praia Vermelha is definitely swimmable. And just like most beaches in Brazil, you have all the drinks and all the food you could possibly want. People dancing, having caipirinhas and beers. So quite a lively beach. And on a day like today, a Saturday, even though it's overcast, there's lots happening here at Praia Vermelha, Red Beach. It may not seem like it, but this is day two of the Rio beach tour. I'm always wearing the same clothes, so it's a little difficult to know when the day has changed, but I assure you, 
Today is Sunday, yesterday was Saturday, and today I'm starting the tour off at Praia do Leme. This is one of my favorite beaches in Rio for the following reasons. Copacabana and Ipanema get a lot of love. They are the most touristy beaches in Rio, but Leme is just super tranquil and easygoing, and you can also swim here, so it's a lovely place to spend the day. Behind me, you can see the rock that the beach is named after. Lemi in English means shutter, which is the thing underneath the boat that guides the boat. I learned this last night, by the way. But for some reason, the tourists just don't seem to come to this beach, but you still have all the infrastructure you need with the beach activities and the food and drink vendors and anything you could possibly need to enjoy your day at the beach. And as you can see behind me, it's also very LGBTQ friendly. And way down there, you're gonna see some Rasta flags. You can see them there. So Mary Jane usually hangs out at this beach as well. So if you wanna check out Praia do Leme, make sure you come to Lifeguard Station number one. That's usually where people like to hang out. It is my favorite spot at Praia do Leme. And it's gonna be a great beach day for you. It's also important to say that Praia do Leme is actually an extension of Copacabana Beach. Theoretically, it's the same beach, but they divide it. Here it's called Praia do Leme and over there it's Copacabana. And you can definitely see in the distance that it starts getting way busier than it is here. Another thing about Praia do Leme is that the sand is really thin and nice to walk on. And look, it's much less packed than all of the touristy beaches here in Rio. So if I had to tell you one beach to hang out here, it would be Praia do Leme. Today I did a live stream with the Jet Lag Warriors and I'm gonna go pick them up right now. They're over there having a beer somewhere. I'm gonna ask them what they're thinking of the beaches here in Rio and then we are going to walk to Copacabana Beach because when in Rio, you certainly have to check it out and I'm about to show you. Let's do this. Okay, Jet Lag Warriors, you have just arrived in Rio how many days ago? Let's say three days ago, two or three. Yeah, so what are you thinking so far? So we're staying at Copacabana, world famous. Of course, the beach is super nice. I think so far our favorite might be Leme because more relaxed. Although it's really nice, you've got this super massive boardwalk that sort of connects all the beaches. So yeah. beach hopping is really easy. So you can walk all the way from Leme, Copacabana, and then jump to Ipanema. With this, just walk on this boardwalk that looks like a wave, the pattern. Yeah. You can't go to Brazil and not go to Rio. Yeah. So we want to experience sort of the touristy beaches, and food, also ex culture, and just... experience the beach culture here. Yeah. Like people just playing, I don't know, their uh, beach... Football -y. Volleyball or... Uh, Fuchi volley. Yeah, that Fuchi one. Volley. And I don't know, try the snacks on the beach. So we're excited to try that. And with that, let's go to Copacabana. Let's do it. And on Saturdays and Sundays, um, it's pedestrian weekend and on holidays as well. So you can actually walk all along Copacabana Beach and Ipanema as well. So it's a great place to just exercise and ride your bike on the weekends or holidays. So we've walked a little further down the boardwalk and we have arrived at Copacabana Beach, the most famous beach in Rio de Janeiro. Of course you have Copacabana Palace here where all the international stars stay when they come to Rio. The New Year's Eve party is right in front of Copacabana Palace, arguably the most famous New Year's celebration in the whole world. A lot of songs have also been written about Copacabana Beach. Those are all just some of the reasons why this beach is so popular and famous. So it's a little more difficult today to illustrate the difference between Praia do Leme and Copacabana, but I can assure you when it's a sunny day, this beach gets freaking crazy. You have vendors all over the place and you can barely find a place to sit in the sands. Of course, you have the famous design on the sidewalk over there on the boardwalk with the black and white waves design. That's a pretty iconic um, symbol of Copacabana Beach as well. And if you do decide to come to Copacabana Beach, I suggest you stay at Lifeguard Station number six. And I think over in that area, you will have a much more enjoyable experience. And 
and I'm sure you can hear all the live music that happens over there on the boardwalk as well. It's a great place to enjoy the view. Of course, be prepared to pay tourist prices for food and drinks. Also, when here in Copacabana, if you decide to go get some lunch and you don't want to have lunch at the beach and have beach snacks, you can go to a place called Adega Perola. It's a small place, so it might be a little full around lunchtime. You can go a little earlier or a little later, and it's really good bang for buck there, amazing food, and it's where the locals go for lunch, so I do suggest Adega Perola. I'm going to have to do another full day of filming, so drop me a like if you appreciate the effort that I'm making for this video, and tomorrow we're going to hit Famous beaches as well, like Ipanema and Praia do Arpoador. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. See you on day three. It is day three of the Rio beach tour and it's a little sunnier today. Thank God. 30 degrees today, the sun is out. It's a bit windy, but make sure you put on your sunscreen. Otherwise, you might regret it. After exploring Copacabana, the next logical beach to explore would be this one. It's called Praia do Diabo, which actually means the Devil's Beach. And it has that name because the waves are actually pretty strong. In fact, this is a pretty common spot for all the surfers here in Rio. It is a very small beach, but one of the advantages is this little exercise station that they have behind me. It seems like there are people having some boxing lessons there right now. You also have some people playing frisco ball, which is kind of like a beach tennis sort of thing where the players help each other so the ball doesn't fall down. Also, it's not uncommon for there to be yoga classes here on this platform and you can see the Moho Dois Irmãos in the background. Rio is truly breathtaking. So if you just kind of want to hang out on the sand because the ocean might be a little too violent for some of you and you don't want all the vendors hassling you and you don't want a beach packed full of people, then I think Praia do Diabo might be for you. If not, you can head on over to Ipanema, which is right next door. Let's go check it out. I'm now standing on the Arpoador rock, which as you can see has this beautiful view of Ipanema Beach and the Dois Irmãos Moho here with the favela in the background. Definitely don't miss the sunset here from Arpoador rock. Around 6 or 7 p.m. there will be a lot of vendors here selling beers and water and coconuts and all sorts of drinks. So you pretty much have all you need to enjoy one of the most beautiful sunsets of your life. Now one might say that Ipanema Beach starts here and just stretches all the way to the back over there. But here it's actually called Praia do Arpoador, which is the name of this rock. And here there are also some pretty big waves, so it's catered to local surfers. As you can see, there's a lot of surfers in the water behind me. And in general, it's just a more relaxed vibe than the neighboring Ipanema. Here you will see some stalls, so you can have your refreshments here as well, but it's not going to be as lively and touristy as Ipanema. So the beach tour continues. We're going to walk along the boardwalk here from Praia do Arpoador all through Ipanema and onto our last beach, Le Blanc Beach. I just had one of the hardest falls of my life on the Arpoador rock. Luckily, I didn't hurt myself too badly, but it totally peeled my nail back. Trigger alert. Maybe you don't want to see this. But yeah, I did hurt my leg and my nail a little. So my suggestion is if you are going up on the rock, do go barefoot because I was wearing flip-flops and it was extremely sandy and I just fell hard. Also, I just totally shattered my iPhone screen. At least the camera is still intact. I'm hoping it was just a protective layer. I might have to check it out later. But the show always goes on here on Gringo Nation. On to Ipanema. A very short walk and I am now at lifeguard station number eight of Ipanema Beach. And it's right across the street from Fazano. This is one of the fanciest hotels in Rio and it's just across the street from Ipanema Beach. So that's the lifeguard station there. And this area of Ipanema Beach is known to be more for the younger crowd. Maybe you're feeling like getting some drinks here at the stalls. You're feeling a little flirty, you want to meet new people, you might want to come here to lifeguard station number eight. Now, today is a Tuesday. Life is tough, right? Um, so, of course, it's not as jam-packed as it would be on the weekend or a holiday. But I assure you, drown some caipirinhas and you will meet new people here at lifeguard station number eight. And one thing I really love about Rio is that they always have all the flags from all the countries and teams and sexualities, so they really make you feel at home here in Rio, wherever you go. 
Let's go see what's happening at Lifeguard Station number nine. And of course, there is no shortage of beach stalls, whether it be here on the boardwalk or on the beach for all of your entertainment needs. Just like that, we are at Lifeguard Station number nine. And here it's also known for being very jam packed, very full, very flirty, very friendly. And another fun fact is that this is the most LGBTQIA friendly area of the whole beach and possibly of all of Rio. As I said, today is a Tuesday. So for a Tuesday, there's actually quite a lot of people here on the beach. Now I'm from Sao Paulo and we have a rivalry here with the people from Rio. And it is said that they don't like to work too much. So maybe that's what's happening here. Just kidding, Cariocas, calm down. Thanks for hosting me here in your beautiful city. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to give you a very important tip about the area in Ipanema Beach where I like to stay when I want to have a really nice, relaxed beach day. I'm coming up on the street here. It's a very good tip if you're catching an Uber here to Ipanema Beach. So you could just ask the Uber to drop you off at Garcia Davila Street and you can pinpoint this place here called Deliru Tropical. It's just 400 meters from the beach pretty much and you can walk to the best spot in Ipanema Beach. So this is Pua Garcia Davila with Prudente de Moraes. Now what's cool about asking the Uber driver to drop you off here at Garcia Davila Street is that if you start getting hungry here at Ipanema Beach you can just rock on over to that street. It's a very gastronomical street so you have loads of cool cafes, shops and restaurants for you to check out. In terms of shop they have a really sick Vans shop and a huge Havaiana shop if you want to pick yourself up a pair of the world's most famous sandals, Brazilian Havaianas. And admittedly, a lot of the restaurants on that street are a little fancy schmancy, but here's a local recommendation for you. There's a restaurant called La Carioca and they serve the best ceviche and chips here in Rio. So definitely go check them out. And that's 100% a local recommendation because my friend Marina Bejutruda recommended that to me. She's been living here in Rio for years and she's also hosting me here in Rio. So I am so grateful. Muito obrigado, Ma. And in terms of this beach area, we are between lifeguard stations number nine and 10. And 10 would be the last one before the next beach. And I want to tell you why this is another one of my favorite spots to hang out here in Rio. So basically here you have a good mixture of locals. There are a lot of locals with a few tourists sprinkled in there. And what I love about Ipanema Beach is that there's so much culture here and it's very diverse. So you can really meet any sort of people during the day. The vibes are just really chilled out here. So along with Praia do Leme, it is one of my favorite beaches. The ocean is safe for swimming. And on some days the waves can be a little big, but I was here just the other day and it honestly felt like a swimming pool. It was the best swimming day I've had in a while here in Rio. So there is a website if you want to check out what the waves are like that day. So I'm just gonna post it down here. So depending on what you're looking for that day, you can just head to that website and see what the waves are like in all of the beaches here in Rio and just go to the one that caters your needs best. This is one of the more fancier beaches here in Rio. I was actually reading that it hosts some of the most expensive apartments in all of Brazil. Brazil's pretty big, so you can imagine how much an apartment around here costs. So you may be paying a little more for beach chairs or beers or food, but why? Well, Leblon is actually famous for being the beach where they film the most soap operas at. Of course, Brazilian soap operas are world famous and for some reason or other, this is the beach where they film a lot of scenes at. That also means that if you're just walking along the boardwalk, uh, you might stumble upon a celebrity or two, try to act cool, but I'm guessing if you're a gringo, you're not gonna know who they are anyways. In fact, it seems like they might be filming a soap opera here today. There's a whole production crew here. It might just be a commercial or something, but I wouldn't be surprised. This is pretty cool. They're filming a beer commercial. Those two girls are about to go sit at a table with loads of beers on them. So 
So there you go. What I said was true. Of course, it's still a pretty cool beach to chill at. They have tons of activities, like you can see a little Fuji Volley school behind me. There's a bike lane. And the thing about Leblon Beach is that there's just not a lot of people. It's not jam-packed like a lot of the other beaches. So if you want to escape the hustle and bustle of the beaches here in Rio, you might want to come to Leblon. And it's mainly locals here at this beach. There are a few tourists sprinkled in as well, but it is mainly locals here at Leblon. But the thing is, you can't really swim here at Leblon Beach because it's all so polluted. As you can see, some people really don't seem to care here either. They are having fun in the ocean today, but I'm looking at these waves and they're looking pretty black, so I will not be going myself. And if you ever want to check which beaches it is safe to swim at, just check this website down here because it does vary from time to time. But in general, Praia do Leblon is not good for swimming. And listen, I don't care how fancy this beach is. I don't care about running into celebrities. What I will say is that there's nothing fancy about spending the day at the beach and not being able to go in the water. So there's that about Leblon. But what I do want to mention is that just on the boardwalk here, there's another La Carioca, the ceviche place. And it's just on the boardwalk with a view of the ocean. So you might want to go to that one instead of the one on Garcia Davila, but I'm sure both of them will be excellent. Now that you know what beaches to go to here in Rio, it's about time you knew how much you're going to be spending. Spoiler alert, I spent a whole day here with just $20. So if you want to see how that day went, just click on the video that's on your screen. And I'll see you over there in 3, 2, 1, ciao!